hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be talking about how I have updated my website and how I'm hosting it with Bluehost now and how you can also host your website with Bluehost as well I have more information about that later on in the video and then also we're gonna be talking about how I created my website I will give you a brief overview of my planning process as well as the template that I use to code my website with so if you are interested please continue watching this video Let's just start out by talking about Bluehost for a second. In the past, I have hosted my website on other platforms and I also created a video about hosting my website if you are interested in watching that. Um, but now, I currently use Bluehost. I decided to move over my blog website as well as my personal website over to Bluehost. Now, the reasoning for that was a lot of things. Some of it was cost. It was a little more cost, uh, less costly to host with Bluehost, as well as the ease of doing things that I wanted to do. And in my case, that specifically meant that I really wanted to connect my website to my GitHub. And it seemed to be a little more tedious on the DreamHost side instead of using Bluehost. So I decided to make the switch over and try it out, see how I liked it, and I love it. So the first thing I did was move my blog site over and I created, um, I had to export all my data for that and then import it back into uh, my server on Bluehost and it was super straightforward. There were some things that did not quite make it over, but that's okay because they weren't the important things. The important things for me was blogs that I've done in the past, which mean all the text, all the, um, the pictures that I had for that, those were the important pieces for me. So I was able to move those over. On to my personal website. I decided to use a template for my personal website just because I didn't want to have to code in HTML and CSS and pick a framework and which framework and what's going on. And it was just a lot to think about. So I created a plan in Notion to where I figured out, okay, what are the high points that I want on my website? What are the sections that I wanted? Uh, for me, the about section is important. In addition to that, it's important that you see a list of my videos on my website as well. And then also, it's very important that you see like how to contact me and also like my newsletter, all those pieces were important and I wanted them all on my site and to all be represented, represented in a section. So with that being said, I, I picked the best template that would lay out that information well and I settled for a bootstrap template. So how I found this is I was literally just searching the internet for free um, templates to use and then I found this one and I will link it below if you are also interested in using it as well. And literally, how I um, uh, how I settled on it was it had the sections I wanted because you can view this as well in your browser before you decide to download it for yourself. It had the sections I wanted and it also um, was mobile responsive and that was very important to me because I do wanna make sure that my website looks great on all across all mobile devices as well since a lot of people view content on their devices. So how I used the template was I cloned it into my repository. You can also download the file contents as well, or you can click the button that is in um, on that GitHub repository, and then you could say you wanna use this template, and it will create a new repository for you. So you can also use an NPM command to download it. So there are various ways that you can download this template. It's not just one way, which is also very good. It's very versatile. So as far as the things that I changed on the template, um, there were some things on the original template. For example, there was a Google map. I don't need a map. So <laughs> I removed anything on there that had to, on the template that had to do with maps because I, I don't, I don't need you to know exactly where I'm at. That's not important. Uh, that's not the goal here. So I removed that. And then I changed this, the color scheme was probably like the biggest thing that I changed on there, the color scheme. Um, and how I came up with my color scheme was very simple. I, I know that there's a color that I love and it's blue. I don't know if you could tell by my thumbnails. <laughs> there's always blue in my thumbnails. Um, and it's because it's one of my favorite colors. So the reason I settled on um, just having a scheme was I really, I knew what I wanted was to have various colors on my website. Like I do not want something that's black and white. I'm not a fan and I don't like looking at just black and white websites. Now done well, they can look 
aesthetically pleasing. They look really awesome. But for what I was going for in that moment, it was like, hey, what other colors can I play around with on my website and make them look good together and make them flow together? So I kind of figured out what that was for me and it took a whole lot of playing around, trust me. That's it. <laughs> That's it. All I did was find a template and customize it to fit the things I wanted to do. Now there were further customizations that I had to make. Like now they, they have a flip phone now. So I had to also make additional adjustments for that on my website. Like how's it going to look on this flip phone as people are, 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 um, using those devices. Like what does that look like for smaller, narrower, um, screens as well. So those were things I also had to change and we'll look into some changes that I made in future videos for my website and we'll talk about them. But for right now, I hope that you found this information helpful. Um, if you are interested in hosting your website through Bluehost, use my link below um, and check that out. See if it's something that you might be interested in. And the pricing, I will say, is relatively um, cheap pricing. You can pay you can pay monthly or you can pay yearly either way. But anyways, it's a nice option, especially if you're just getting started and you just need somewhere to host your website. So that's also something to think about as well. Like I said, the next video, we're gonna get into some more things. We're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how I cloned my Git repository to be able to use on Bluehost and SSH into the server and all those great things. So I do hope that you stick around for that video. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content such as this and also other videos on getting into tech and being a diverse person in tech. Until next time, take care of yourself and be kind to others and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.